Good morning guys from central London. My name is Peace. Today I'm taking you to a very special place. Not many tourists know about it. It's called the Borough Market. It is one of the oldest and largest food markets in London. It's not just a regular market that you would find anywhere else. The special foods that you will find there is amazing and beautiful and colorful like you have never seen before. I'm going to take you in there right now. Let me just tell you that this market dates back to the 12th century and the market itself claims that it is already older than that, even from the early 10th century and maybe earlier than that. My name is Peace and I'm traveling around the world, so let's peace out and go! Alright, so we are getting in to the Boro Market. Let's see how that looks like. As far as I know, they have more than a hundred stalls here and lots of vendors with all kinds of fresh foods produced all in England from all over the country to which they come here, especially on Fridays and Saturdays. And what you're gonna see here is amazing. So what do we have here? Bakery stuff. Beautiful chocolates. And there we have some fresh breads. All kinds of chocolates. Hello. Where are these chocolates from? Actually made by my daughter, but they, the chocolate comes actually from Belgium. But wow. These are all handmade. The handmade that come from Belgium. The handmade here, the actual cocoa comes from Belgium. I see. Very nice, beautiful. Thank you. So as you heard, all these vendors come here at the end of the week and they bring their own produced stuff from all over the country, but not only from England, but also from across Europe. And it is very unique and interesting to see. We have some fresh squeezed juice. Let's see what else we have here. We have some organic stuff and exotic fruits. What is this? Round aubergine. Wow, round aubergine. How nice. Sweet. Interesting stuff. Baby cucumbers. All right, so here we have some uh, seafood stuff. Mussels and even an octopus I've seen there. Look at that. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at this one. Oh my god, that's a snapper. He's really scaring me off. The Borough Market, which is very close to the River Thames, originally back in the day, at the very early days of this market, they used to bring here the livestock and fresh cattle to sell. Cattle that they used to raise for farming. And still today, you can find here all kinds of foods, from meat to cheese, all kinds of cheeses, to all kinds of breads, all produced in the UK and across Europe and it is magnificent to see how nice it looks and every shop every stall every vendor has its unique set out of its food how did we get here let's see from France Holland and Greece very beautiful thank you where are they from uh, this is the Comte from France from France? Yeah. 
And you have also from Holland and from Greece, right? That's right, yeah. Yeah, and how long have you been here? Uh, we've been here for almost 20 years. 20 years? Yeah. So it's a generational thing. Um, I mean, your father probably still here. No, no, it's, there's no? a guy called Dom who runs it. Oh, Who's so you're just a worker? Years. Yeah, I'm just a worker. I see. Yeah, I'm Very nice. Be Do you know a little bit of the history of this market? Yeah, it's one of the oldest markets in London. Right. Um, food East, markets? Food before. market, yeah, so it used to be a wholesale food market. So they right. supply all the different shops in London. And it was like that until it got kind of rebranded as more like a high quality food market. So now it's like, yeah, right. artisanal stuff from all over. Most of Europe, but the rest of the world as well. Correct. And I understand it's dating back to like the 12th century or even earlier. That's right. I mean, I think they reckon there's been some kind of marketing thing going on here since like, yeah, a really long time ago. Right. Since even like when the Romans were here. But um, yeah. there's evidence of it till this process. Right. And what did they used to sell? Uh, I think it's always been food. Always I understand also they used to bring the livestock and, and oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. fresh they, animals. They used to bring like actual animals in and it would be like, you know, farmers would come down from wherever with their vegetables and whatever. But obviously in more recent years it's been pre made Alright, and how much do you sell the cheese for? How much are they going for? Um, so they go for a range of different prices based on how long they're aged for and how small the batch is. So like something like this Comte would be £3.40 for 100 grams. This Parmesan though, because it's aged for a lot longer, much smaller batch is £4.20. So um, what is the oldest cheese that you have here? Uh, the Parmesan is 24 months, as is the Gouda over here. So 24 months? Oldest. Yeah. This is, is the oldest cheese? The oldest we, one we have, yeah. That you have, but what is the oldest cheese that uh, the, the industry works with? probably find on the market would be maybe four years. Four ish. years? But I've heard that they get older than that. I don't know. Wow. There you go. No, it's interesting because I'm not so into cheese, <laughs> but uh, yeah. that's why it's interesting to know. I think I could give you some info. And yeah. how do they leave it to age? Um, so they've got special humidity and temperature controlled rooms basically. So back in the olden days, you do it in like caves and stuff, depending on like what conditions you're looking for. So if you wanted something humid and like wet, you'd maybe go for a cave. If you wanted it to be a bit dry, you'd go for like a barn. But now with science, you can just get it all right. I have mean, a nice room that's got the exact right percentage right. of water in the air and everything. All right, I really appreciate your uh, <laughs> uh, all the information that you gave me. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Cheers, man. Good luck. Thank you. Bye bye. All right. So as you heard, you got everything that you could have asked for from that cheese guy, and here you got another one selling cheese and. Dairy stuff. Yeah. Yeah. For market heritage. Creamy Hilton. We have Irish cheese. Look at these bagels. Wow. How beautiful are they? As you can see, it's not like the uh, ordinary markets that you find around the world, which the foods are just piled up one above the other. Everything is showcased here in a very beautiful manner. Even the meats. All right, there we have some vegetables and fruits. As I uh, understand, the actual building which covers the market today was built in the 1850s meaning before that I guess it was different and uh, here you got the Arabica food from I guess the Middle East yeah So as you see, you also have a lot of bars here. People are sitting and enjoying with a cup of beer. I mean, how can you not? You're in the UK, so you have to have at least a pint of Guinness beer. At least one hour a day, right? <laughs> okay, there you see the structure of the market. And here we have some vegetables again and some nice fruits. There we have the wine shop, the Borough Wines. Well, if you want to visit the Borough Market, 
you take the train, the tube, right to London Bridge station. And it's very close, just four minutes walk from the London Bridge station, right to the Borough Market. You should not come on Sunday, because on Sunday it's almost dead in here. Ironically, uh, the most crowded days in this market, which most of the vendors are here, is on Fridays and Saturdays, but it starts from Wednesday until Saturday, I mean until Sunday. But Sunday, Monday and Tuesday, it's quite quiet here. What do we have here? Sausage rolls since 1998. Oh ho! Brandisa, Spanish foods. Oh ho! Look at that shop. Very nice. And there we have some bars all around and restaurants oh there we see the sign borough market Well guys, if you have liked this video, give it a like please, it doesn't cost you anything. <laughs> well, it helps me a lot. So thank you very much for watching and right now, before you leave, make sure you're watching the next video coming up.